Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about uh, on the file belt tool is tracking. Um, so there's a couple things I want to say about it. So if I if I loosen this up, so it loosens the arm, and if I run it like that, you can see it's starting to run off track onto that side. So you can see underneath there, that contact arm is showing. We obviously want that to track as close to center as often as we can. The narrower the belt, the more important that is. So if I tighten that back up, and again, we can do this while it's running, uh, but now see I maybe over tightened it and it's starting to show up on this side. So just bring it back to center and you can see that tracking just fine. The other thing I wanna show you that's pretty important on this tool, again, the more narrow the belts, the, the more important this is. But this little diagram shows you how the belt is running out of the housing on the top here and returning into the housing and those arrows indicate which way it's going. It really is important to keep that in mind and run the tool on like maybe this nine o'clock position and down. If you get it up here, you might knock the belt off because tracking, the, the contact wheel is actually part of the tracking mechanism and it's not fully tracking until it's past about nine o'clock there going over that contact wheel and then on the return side.